please give a warm welcome to Skeet Ulrich and Jamie Kennedy. What's up, everybody? So Wow! Thank you, each and every one of you, for coming out here today. Oh, you're not working? What? <laughs> thank you. And so are you. Um, really, truly, thank you all for taking time out of your lives to come here to hear two knuckleheads talk about a movie we made a long time ago. <laughs> But uh, we love you all. We appreciate each and every one of you, and, and thank you again for being here. Let's figure this thing out. Yeah! Somebody uh, said they love me over there, and I just want to say, prove it. <laughs> tequila? It's tequila? You're giving me a tequila shot during, <laughs> during COVID? <laughs> Whoever bought this, I'm gonna wait because who's who's uh who's got the coolest question asleep. out here of Thank anybody? You. you? All right, what's your name? Tatum, everybody. Yes. How about that? Yes. We choose a dead girl first. <laughs> All right, here. I'm feeling really woozy here right now. <laughs> Um, my question is, what was the biggest psychological obstacle that you um, came across when playing your role? That's um, not tequila. That's a great question, by that's the way. That's not tequila. Did you? <laughs> I thought that was tequila. Listen, you drunk. Did you hear the question? <laughs> something he doesn't about, even drink, by the way. The question was something about, are you married? What? No. <laughs> What Can was, I tell you? What, what was, was the, the biggest psychological obstacle you overcame playing your character? Me? <laughs> I'm going to answer it to start. I'll yeah. give you a little, you know. Um, um, well, right before playing Billy Loomis, I did a movie called Touch, where yes. I played the second coming of Christ in modern day LA, the sweetest guy I've ever played. I literally had like five days a week to transform into Billy Loomis. So I think just changing my overall mindset was the psychological battle. But that's a great question. I think mine was just remembering the lines. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't get cast as Jesus. Is this mine? I, I already tried it. No, but I have a similar sure. beard. <laughs> Guys, you know what was interesting today? I had to get over psychologically. I can't tell you how many women come to my table and go, I just want to say hi. And then I go, you guys want an autograph? They go, we're saving for Skeet. <laughs> By the way, I think you should. <laughs> the no. man played Jesus. <laughs> guys, the show's going to start any second. We're taking questions. Hello. What's right. that? What is that? <laughs> oh, I know what that part is. That's very real. Hype. I was being real. I'm Who's got a question? I'm fucking tired. You got a question? All right. I uh, wanted to see just the rehearsal that you guys had to both go through for your characters. What was the rehearsal we had to go through? I don't know that. Did we rehearse? I remember we had some table reads with some wine. Oh, the auditions. It wasn't crazy. We, the script was so tight. We would just run lines, and it was, yeah, we, it was, yeah, I don't, I just, we were a lucky natural chemistry. Yeah, it just happened. Yeah. We were like, I think I'm going to go here and stab that guy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> then I'm going to go here. Wait. Here wow, go. all these gorgeous hands. I got, <laughs> what? Did you say gorgeous elves? Did, did I say elves? I don't know. No, never mind. We, All right. We got a final girl. Can I ask a final girl a question hey, right got? here? All right. Fuck. 
One second. You just want a picture? You're not even asking a question. <laughs> oh, my God. No way. This lady has a question. She passed All the right. mic around. And I can How do does this. it feel knowing that... When the movie came out, you were in like Teen Bok magazines and all those magazines, and you were on probably millions of girls, including mine, all their walls as like the hot heartthrob of the world. Like, yeah. It makes me very sad for the world <laughs> that they have killers on their walls. <laughs> But Bro. it's flattering. It is flattering. Steve, real quick. They got a killer duo on their wall. <laughs> exactly. How many women say, please kill me? Just three. <laughs> oh, no. Okay. I was going to say, you could pass the mic there and let them use that, too. Oh, okay. <laughs> you can skeet um, that one back if you want. So both of y'all can answer this. Um, but, like, as yourself, not your character, um, what role would you, like, play in a horror film like if your life was a horror film like do you think he would survive the end would you be a final girl would you be the killer oh i'd 100 percent be the final girl <laughs> <laughs> without a doubt i could <laughs> scream like you wouldn't believe <laughs> what would you be jamie uh i'd probably still be the virgin <laughs> still still dude working on the 50 year old version Wow. Did Randy ever get the... I don't know how I died. I don't remember having any sex between movies. In a van? You died in a van? I, yeah, I died in a van. You were already dead. You don't remember that? No, I was dead. <laughs> how do, <laughs> what happened was I was on a college campus and they pulled me in a van and they killed me. What? Yeah. It's always good to talk about horror movies when there's a screaming baby in the background. It's a wonder. What's a wonder? <laughs> Wait, I gotta go way back there. There's somebody with their hand up. Way All right. back there. You guys ready? Get some crazy questions. Oh, crazy questions. What did you guys wait to the very end to come in? No, you were first one in. Just decided to come to the back. Okay, I gotta ask. I got you. Gotta ask a question. What's your favorite scary movie? Oh. Jamie. What was it? Should we remove him now or like? What did he say? What's your favorite scary movie? Oh, Showgirls. Absolutely <laughs> frightening. That is a good one. She Mine's Forrest Gump. <laughs> Guys, I want to let you know I did a line from the movie, so that's going to be $5. <laughs> Guys, this Q&A is going to start any second, I swear. Yeah, it's coming up. It's coming up. It's coming up. Let's get a juicy question, guys. A juicy question. Oh, right, <laughs> right there. Cool. Bro. Uh, so as someone who likes making movies and has just started getting into making movies, what do you think is the key to making an iconic, scary movie? Oh, I know. Uh, <laughs> I, I think you have to make what you feel. And, like, when we set out to make Scream, we had no clue what it would be. We didn't really care, to be honest. We had a great time, we had a great script, we had a great group of people, and we did our work, pretty much assuming that nobody would give a damn. And here we are 26 years later. Uh, so I would say though, in terms of, well, I guess art in general, but how many artists are in the room, like of, of all sort, painters, actors, writers? Wow, there's a lot of us, right? Um, I'll tell you, like, as, as an artist, not to base your success on Hollywood in terms of my field, I, you know, whatever your field is, but not to base it on some exterior success or some barometer that Hollywood will give you or so. You have to do what you feel and what you love, and if someone else finds it and decides to give you a bunch of money for it or whatever, that's their business. But you have to do what's in your heart and what you love doing and fuck the rest. There you go. Seriously. There Sorry. You go. <laughs> what was okay. your question? What was your question, ma'am? 
You got the mic. Go for yeah, it. I was going to say that way you, they could pass it, make it easier for you. Hi, Ski. I'm a huge fan. You're Hi. my favorite actor. Thank you. And uh, what was it like working with Cole Sprouse, and how was it portraying his dad? And are you coming back for season seven of Riverdale? Mm. Uh, I, you know, I've been in New Orleans filming the last couple months, and and Cole's been there too, filming a, a movie and. And I've got to see him a lot over the last couple of months, and uh, I, I miss him all the time. He's one of the sweetest, kindest, caring, intelligent human beings I know. I'm proud to call him a friend, and to have worked with him was was the start of all that. He's he's just brilliant and fun and interesting, and um, and no, I will not be coming back to Riverdale. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. But but I do I I admire him and uh, and I think he's incredibly talented and uh, I'm so happy for his success. Thank you. Yes. All right. Who's got the juicy question? Do you, didn't, didn't, Jamie wants <laughs> a juicy hey, question. Rainbow. Rainbow what? Harley Quinn. Harley Quinn got a juicy question. What's Rainbow up? Rainbow Harley Quinn. You next. How do you feel about being shipped with Matthew Lillard, Billy and Steve, uh, Billy and Stu? I. Uh, you know, I, I could see where people get it. <laughs> <laughs> and if he was here, we'd probably see it even more. <laughs> yes, thank you. Point him out and yeah, I'll go to him. I, I know that. If you can come to uh, Scream 6, would you? Hmm, maybe I did. What was the question? If you could be in Scream 6, would you? Ooh. Are you, are you, are you? Are you possibly doing a spoiler? I didn't spoil anything. Okay. This did not happen. Well, you came back in five, but you were dead. Yes. Yeah. I just want to let you know, I haven't been around since three. <laughs> yes. And I'm dead. <laughs> How'd you Somebody do needs some love. How'd you do that? <laughs> How did I do it? I don't know. They, <laughs> they wrote me a letter. Bro, so I was gonna say, he takes place in YouTube. That's how I did it. I'm coming to you. I see you. I'll point him out and go back. Okay, okay, one sec, one sec. One at a time. So did any of you get a chance to make out with Neve or Courtney? Uh, yeah, a couple of them did. It wasn't us. <laughs> what was the question? Did you get a chance to make out with Nev or Courtney? Jamie Colony. Uh, I'm a virgin. <laughs> I, I died, bro. I, I think, tried. I think Dave married Courtney, so I don't. Yeah. Think that right around that time. Well. I'm over here. And uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right. Delete that question from the tape. <laughs> all right. Here we go. Over here. The over here. No. <laughs> Jamie Skeet, you both have had a. Uh, Great acting. You guys, careers. when you ask the question, be aggressive. Be like, what's up? All right, fine. <laughs> hey, I so, got to hear you. You guys have both been actors in regular films. You've also done a lot of voiceovers. What is your preference as far as an artist goes? Oh. Bro, you always want to get your face show. I like doing cartoons because you roll up in your pajamas. I'm, I'm, but I like being in a movie because people see your face. And then when you go to Trader Joe's, you might get a couple of free items. <laughs> <laughs> right? Ski? Wow, Ski, yeah. Right? I mean, that's exactly why I do it. Exactly. Yeah. Ski's yeah. in it for the art. I'm in it for the coupons. <laughs> <laughs> that kettle corn's pretty good, though. That's <laughs> yeah. Pretty good stuff. Hang um, on, I got one right here. Bam. What is your favorite roles that you guys have played? Ooh, Ooh what you got? Your favorite roles? Your favorite roles. Uh, well, obviously, Randy, I think, is going to be one of my great lucky roles I get. Samson and Romeo and Juliet. And wow. uh, you can't hate. Don't be hating on B-Rad G. <laughs> Malabese for G-Z. That's me. Right. Skeeter, yeah. what about you? Oh, man. I mean, Billy's definitely up there for Icon sure. Iconic, bro. Yeah, iconic Billy. Iconic, bro. Bro, uh, do you know that you're an air freshener? <laughs> yeah, I air, have no yo, idea. You're an air freshener. Really? Yeah, you and, you and Matt are an air freshener. Do I've I have like a it. hole in my forehead or something? Like to... No, it's you guys, and you smell great. Wow. 
What's our flavor? I, there's an air freshener. You can buy them as an air freshener. What's our flavor? Uh, I think you were cherry. Ooh. Ooh. Guys, this took a turn. This took a turn. I got one. I got one over here. Took we got one? Turn. Okay. Be loud my, with it. My question is for both of you. Okay. Per Randy's rules in the first Scream movie, what extra rules would you add to survive a horror movie? Uh, run. <laughs> uh, don't go upstairs. That we did that one. Um, I think, I think don't say, hello? <laughs> hello? Anybody here? Is somebody there? <laughs> Why is there blood on my floor? Yeah. <laughs> I heard something in this dark well. <laughs> Just get away from the, no, the shit. I'm you know what I'm down. saying? I'm going down. Yeah. Yeah, those, those, say, those are good rules. Don't ask dumb questions. <laughs> don't go into a barn. What else? Don't come to this Q&A. <laughs> <laughs> don't take mushrooms. <laughs> that's, oh, that's part of the rule. That's a big yeah, one. Okay, yeah. right. That's a big one. Uh, hang on. Thank you, sir. Who is... Was that a shot? Did you take a shot? Who is your favorite final girl from all the movies like Halloween and Texas Chainsaw Massacre? Hold on. I mean, Nev. Nev's my favorite. Ooh. Yeah. yeah. Did you really ask who's our favorite final girl? Yeah. To two dead guys from Scream? I know. I know. It's Nev, baby. Come on. Right over here. What else? What else? We what right else here, can right we here, talk right about? All right. Okay, I finally have a question. Oh, she's filming it. Okay, I wanted to know what it was like Wearing the costume, and have you ever worn it offset? Wait, what offset? was that? Offset? Offset? What was the question? Asking what it was like to wear the Scream costume on set, and has he ever worn it offset? I haven't worn it offset. I wore it once for fun in a scene he was doing where he was watching Jamie Lee Curtis. Yes. <laughs> huh. And... I don't know. We Skeet, were just sort of uh, like, I want to wear it. Ski came behind the couch when I say, look behind you. That's him. But Ski, early in your career, when you're getting all that fame, you never put the costume on. When you are like meeting a lady for a date. <laughs> you know what I'm saying, bro? I mean, just I know one I time, be like, you want to see Ski or the. You want to see Ghostface? <laughs> you know? <laughs> yeah, you know, no, I know. It, is, it, is it weird that I wore it at my wedding? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bro. It's not weird, right? The one you got divorced from? Yeah. <laughs> Both of them. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, just, please don't put this on YouTube, all right? I'm up for a couple of Disney Plus shows. Guys, that's a $20, that's a $25 picture, sir. <laughs> Guys, get to something crazy. Yeah, what do we get got? Get to something crazy. I see you. Oh, my, my I personal see you. Story. We got one back here. I'm leave it out there. It's you. Dun, you dun, asked dun, me what's in this right? bag. Uh, it's my personal stuff, my wallet and stuff. I can't leave it out there. Bunch of Mormons. <laughs> you know how they steal. <laughs> The thing about Mormons is they don't really have any kids. It's weird. They, do you guys know what a condom is? Okay, I went too far. Can I make that joke on Saturday? Sunday, I'm fucking in trouble. Okay. But can we get a hamburger tomorrow or is everything closed? Because that's how God wanted it. Okay. Um, Please don't record that part. I'm fucking canceled. Bro, you're the most bored guy here. You're just like sleeping through the that's whole my, thing. That's my son. I'm babysitting right that's now. That's your kid. son? <laughs> I'm babysitting right now, dog. Are you Mormon? No. <laughs> my man. I play the Black Panther. That's it. <laughs> All right, go to skate. Do you like the cast of Riverdale or your screen better? <laughs> she wants to throw me under the bus. What did she say? All right, what let me ask, happened? I'm going to ask these guys, which cast is better, Riverdale or Scream? Oh, my God. Oh, my. 
There's your answer. I go with the people. That hurts me. Okay. Yo, I have a question for you guys. Could I ask them something, Skeet? Go for it. When Scream came out, and obviously, like Skeet said, it's 26 years later. You'll co-sign me on this. It's never been bigger, right? It's like on Etsy, there's a Scream serial in London. This is real. But low-key Hocus Pocus throughout the years has become humongous. I watched it yesterday. And my question is, I believe it's Scream, but would you say who had the bigger impact on pop culture, Scream or Hocus Pocus? Scream! But, I'm, but Hocus Pocus is huge, right? All right, just curious, because I'm a, I'm a fan like you guys. I'm a virgin. It's, it's great. All right, here we go, here we go. Okay. So, it's great, great movie, though. Go ahead. Okay, so my question is, if you can hang out with your character from Scream for a day, what would you do? For, for if I could hang out what? If you can hang out with your character from Scream for a day, what would you do? Like, if you could hang out oh with Billy. Oh, my goodness. I'd have, a, Randy, I'd have a real chat with the dude. Go to therapy? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, go to, go to therapy? He would take all sharp objects away from him. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like I'd be like, over. first of all, stop copying me. <laughs> I, I don't know what I would do. That's a really good question. I guess I would... Um, Smack myself a few times and try and come too. Uh, I would tell my character probably should have some sex. <laughs> come on home, daddy. No. <laughs> I'm gonna have. How could I not? <laughs> All right. What else? How much time do we have? By the probably way, probably another three hours. Oh yeah. Guys, I'm sorry. Our Q and A is so boring. That's a joke. Okay. No, meaning you're not going to get this much fun in any other Q&A. Do you want me to walk now? You can take a break. All right, guys. So listen, uh, I play Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, boy. Let's get a crazy question. I, oh. Guys, we want something juicy. I have a, well. Okay. Um, did you guys ever play pranks on set? And if you did, what was the worst and on who? Or vice like. Who played it worst on you? Yeah, that's a two-parter. <laughs> that had an anadendum. Uh, do we play pranks on set? Jamie did this thing where he covered my toilet seat in saran wrap. Did I do that? No, you didn't. Oh, okay. <laughs> I have a question for Jamie. I would have been. I don't think I. I don't know. We didn't really do pranks. What we did was we we dranks. We drank a lot of wine. We did drink a lot of. We were filming in Napa we Valley. We were filming, and um, what else should we? Part do? of our tax incentive. Dude, do you remember that night? We for real. I'm not gonna go deep in this, but do you remember the night in the barn? Sort of. <laughs> that sounds weird, but we all went to the barn. Yeah. Yeah. That's all I'm saying. I have a yeah. question. I have a we question. had fun. We had fun. It's crazy the way we in all a got barn. Together. In a barn, and we were together like a family. It was crazy. I have a question for okay. Jamie. Hold on. I have a question You're for Jamie. Right here. Okay. Right here. Jamie. Jamie, it's over here. Yes, ma'am. Um, so the question I think everybody is wondering is, when are you bringing back the Jamie Kennedy experiment? Wow. Ah. <laughs> right now. <laughs> this is the Jamie <laughs> Kennedy experiment. Um, I mean, I would love to, but do you think I could do it in 2022? A lot of people uh, get mad at jokes. You know what I'm saying? Bro, you know what I'm saying. You know exactly what I'm saying. Uh, maybe I'd like to. I'd like to, uh, maybe I could team up with Ashton. He did punk. You know, Ashton always stole all my good ideas. I always wanted to have sex with Demi Moore. <laughs> that, was, that was weird. Please don't put that on YouTube. Who's got a question? I got a question for right here. You got a good question for Skeeter? Okay. Now be loud. I oh, you want me to be loud? Yes, I would. Okay. Skeet. Yes. <laughs> Take it slow. Did you know you were going to become a sex symbol for licking blood off your fingers? <laughs> That's a juicy question. It was exactly my plan. I was like, Wes, in this moment. Wait a minute. You know, I had blood all over me. 
I was bloodier than him. Skeet, they do do that, though. I see women dressed like you and Matt, and I they know. go, corn syrup. <laughs> <laughs> She's right. You were right about that. I've seen a few of those things. Can I go what? Yeah. Um, so Scream sort of kicked off the whole meta horror franchise. For real. Yeah. And um, there have actually been a lot of characters that have kind of taken off of your character in Scream. And I was wondering if you had to choose the best one that was inspired by your character, who would you choose? Uh, in other franchises? Yeah, in other franchises. Help me. Which ones? Give me a couple of franchises. Um, so I think of Cabin in the Woods or... I didn't see, uh, I didn't see Cabin in the Woods. Don't get mad. Don't get mad. It's in my queue. I know it's 12 years long ago. What else? Um, well, if you have like meta character. I would say this. I have this is to getting see, metaphysical. Yeah, I would have to say this. I love my niece and my nephew in the new screen. And I feel that they're like, right? Yeah. I love Jasmine and Mason. Yeah. So I'm excited to see what they do. But I have to see more movies. I apologize. Go ahead, uh, this is for Ski. Um, how was it filming Nobody's Baby? Because I'm actually with your, your adopted daughters right now. What? Wait, you guys are here? No way. Let me see you up close. <laughs> guys, this just became a moment. <laughs> All right. Oh my God. Wow. Conveniently right by the camera. That's awesome. I have a question. What's it like to have kids that you adopted and you didn't know you adopted? <laughs> it's really expensive. What kind of dad are you? You haven't seen him forever. I'm um, not a good one. Wait, we you know a what's, movie So I did this movie with Gary Oldman here. And years ago, was it 98, 99? And I, in the movie, in the course of the movie, uh, I saved this baby from a car wreck and decide, and all the family dies, and I decide I'm gonna raise this baby and Gary decides we're gonna sell this baby. So that's the movie, is this conflict of keep the baby or sell the baby. It's very Disney. <laughs> and these were the babies, because in, in film, I'm sure most of you know, you have to use twins, because one baby gets cranky or tired or whatever, they go to the other baby, blah, blah, blah. Not you guys, you were never cranky. You, you were the better one, I remember. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> wow, well, good to see you guys. Yeah, that is glad awesome. You made, I'm, I'm glad, glad Gary here. Oldman didn't get you. Yeah. That's crazy. You got a good question? Or no? Okay, what's your question? I'm going to turn my phone off. Turn your phone on. That's great. Tell your husband you're not going to be there tonight. I don't have a husband. <laughs> Single, thank you very much. You're talking to Ski. Exactly, see? So, your movie, Supercell. Yes. Did you get a chance to actually experience storm chasing? No. Unfortunately, yeah. I did this movie... Uh, we shot it a little over a year ago called Supercell with uh, the now late Anne Heche, sadly, um, and Alec Baldwin, and um, it's a storm chasing movie that hasn't come out yet. Uh, they, they just finished editing it, and uh, no, we didn't get to chase any storms, unfortunately. I know, I know, you've done it, obviously. Oh, okay, yeah, you do that just going to the grocery store. Like, yeah, yeah. Hey, real quick, real quick, we got time for about four more questions. Four more, four more you already questions. Got one. You already got one. You already got one. All oh, right, you got man. another one. Skeet, I got one for you right up here. That's, that's a good. It's a good question. I, all right, okay. I'm gonna start here, and then we'll go to that one. For Skeet and Jamie. Thank you. <laughs> what is your favorite kill in any horror movie ever made? What is your favorite kill, and the sexiest? Yo, Daphne had a low-key good question. Uh, um, what was it? So it was start, um, start, single start, white female when she... Start with you. Single white female when she killed her with the heel of the shoe, killed the dude with the heel. Wow. It, did anybody ever... Dude, that's a deep cut. Ago. 
That's a deep cut. Um, or in Scream 5, the one through the neck that like came in and out of the neck. Okay. You remember not, that? I remember that. I'm going to give you mine. So this is, okay, I'm scared. There's a lot of phones. I think Rose and the cat door was probably, for me, well, that the was one. was a dog door. Su- but, oh, it was know. a dog. <laughs> it, otherwise, it was a lion. <laughs> <laughs> Through the animal door. <laughs> I think that one was great. And I also think that, I mean, I don't really think killing is sexy, but <laughs> I'll ignore that part of the question. <laughs> but it's iconic, that scene. I do have a question about that scene, though. Go for it. How many of you in here have ever seen a dog door in a garage door? A lot. You have one? Well, that cosplay okay. is All right. big now. Wes was on to something. All right. All right. Who is this? Who's the... Right here. Right, right here? here? All right. If you both called Nev right now, which, w- which one would she answer? <laughs> I told you it was good. That's a good question. What is, what is it? If we both called Nev right now... Which one would she answer? Do you have your phone on? Oh! Her? That's such a good Oh! Answer. Hold on! Dude, I don't want to call her. What if she's with her baby? She doesn't have babies anymore. All right, wait. I... <laughs> you Are phone? you going to call first? We're going to call we... at the same time. Well, we both time. call at the same time. We'll go to voicemail. We're going to go to voicemail anyway, by the way. <laughs> There's no way she's going to answer. I don't know if you even have her correct number. <laughs> Are you calling? I'm going to... I can't do this to her. I know. We can't. <laughs> we can't. We can't. Let's call Jamie Lee Curtis. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I know. She, there's a reason she's not. Yes. She would, she would, she would answer Skeet first, even though he killed, tried to kill her, and even though I tried to warn her. We got a question right here for Skeet. So my question is actually for you, Jamie. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, what was it like working with the cast of Ghost Whisperer? Oh, uh, it was great. You know, I had a lot going on during that. <laughs> Such as? I thought... <laughs> <laughs> I was whispering to the ghost. Oh. <laughs> uh, it was incredible. I was lucky to do it. In fact, Ghost Whisperer is given some of the greatest actresses, Brie Larson... Who did a guest spot. Um, Cobra Kai, the young girl who's here, who's one of the stars of Cobra Kai, she was in an episode. Joey King. So yeah. Ghost Whisperer, I would say, is one of the greatest shows in terms of guest stars. So it was... Thank you so much. Appreciate you. Thank you. All right, I have one last question. One last question. If you had to choose a different character from Scream, who would you be and why? Oh. <laughs> I'd be Randy. Whoa! And I'd wow. be Randy because Randy was the funniest, coolest dude ever. Wow. I think I would have to be Billy because I want to have memes 25 years later where I'm licking corn syrup off my fingers. Fair enough. <laughs> Fair enough. Hey, I just want to say we would be here all day, but we got to go because there's a lot more panels. I love you. Skeet loves you. And we want to say thank you for your continued support. Thank you all. And you guys go out that way or go out this way. We love you. God bless you. for Jamie Kennedy and Skeet all Thank you, everybody.